open by talking a little bit about who we are as a company, like what is Facebook? Many of you are like me, your mothers, your daughters, your friends, your partners. Personally, I'm a mother of four, so I admit, oh. <laughs> not on purpose, no. Um, so, so I admit to using Facebook to post hundreds, maybe thousands of pictures of all of my children and all the adorable things that I think that they do. Um, that in and of itself is amazing because it allows my mother who lives in San Francisco, my aunts who live in Lagos, my friends who live in Paris um, to join me um, in celebrating my children. Um, but I have a, I think what's even more amazing about Facebook is its, it's, is its ability to connect across billions of people. So I have a, an audience participation. I have a question for you. Um, when you read stories that are written about Africa or African women, particularly stories that come from outside of Africa, what are the themes? Like, what are the general themes of those stories? Anyone want to call anything out? I know we don't have shy people here. What are the themes when we hear about African women in the press? Poverty. Poverty, yes. What's another one? Uneducated. Uneducated, yes. What's another one? Rising Violence. Violence. I'm sorry? Rising up against the arts. Rising up against the arts? Against the odds. The odds, yes. Victims, exactly. Violence, corruption, disease, poverty, all of these are, are, are themes. Now, how many of you have heard of an author? Her name is Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. She is, Ni so I'm Nigerian, so I, I, I tell everyone she's my sister. She's actually not. Um, but but um, she's an incredible author who tells beautiful stories about Nigeria and the Nigerian diaspora. And she um, had a TED talk that is incredibly powerful called The, the Danger of a Single Story. And I find that incredibly, incredibly inspirational. It's a talk that's full of, it, it's, a, it's a talk that's full of incredible quotes. And one of my favorites, and I want to read it so I get it right, is um, Africa. Yes, Africa is a continent where there are catastrophes, but there are other stories that are not about catastrophes. And it's very important. In fact, it is just as important to tell those stories. We as African women, we know in our bones that while all of these issues that we mentioned may exist in our individual countries and across the continent, they are not the only story. They may not even be the most important stories. As I look around this room filled with women who have accomplished incredible things, I'm overwhelmed with so much pride for all of you that you've accomplished and all that you will continue to accomplish. The danger of a single story when it comes to our beloved continent goes beyond bad press. Yeah. So it's not just about that. It has a direct impact on our economies, it has a direct impact on our ability to raise capital, it has a direct impact on things like tourism, on investment, on countless business and policy decisions that directly Im impact all of our lives. And this, sisters, is the power of Facebook. Now I'm not saying that Facebook is the answer and the solution for everything, but I came to Facebook specifically because of the, the power that is behind telling your sto own stories. If you think about it, it's an incredible amount of power to tell a story about a person or about a people and have that become truth. So if you think about Facebook, it provides a platform to connect and for people to tell their own stories. It gives each of us the opportunity to tell a different story about South Africa, a different story about Africa, a different story about women, an inspirational, aspirational story about African women like you starting businesses, creating opportunities for yourselves, for your families, Stories about leadership, about economic potential and opportunity, and being truly the masters of your own destiny. What's powerful about Facebook is it brings together a global community of 1.4 billion people from around the world, 100 million across Africa, 12 million across South Africa, and many millions across the African diaspora. Millions of opportunities to, to connect, millions of opportunities to tell stories. Here's an example. So, the dress I'm wearing today um, was designed by a Nigerian woman. And I thought it was, I love the story that you told because this demonstrates the power of the internet and Facebook. This Nigerian woman designer created a small business. She sources her fabrics from Tanzania. She gets people who, to create across the African di diaspora and she sells them online. Without the internet, how would I, I would never be able to find this woman. Without the internet, she would never be able to find the Tanzanian women who sew for her. 
with the internet, she by herself is a corporation. Mm -hmm. I bought this dress from London from a Nigerian woman mm -hmm. who had it made by Tanzanian women. Mm -hmm. This, my sisters, is the power of the internet. This is the power of social media. This is the power of connecting people. And this is the power of different types of stories. Commerce in the past was all about relationships. So if you think about small villages, and it's still the same. So if I go to my, my mother's village in Nigeria, it's a small business. You know who sells tomatoes. You know who sells mangoes. You know who sells fabric. This is the thing. The beauty about the internet is that it makes the world, the global community, a village. In closing, I want to thank each of you for taking the time out of your incredibly busy days and incredibly bu busy lives to be with us. At Facebook, we have a saying. It's one of my favorite sayings at Facebook, and it's called ship love. And what it means is that we want to be the kind of community, the kind of company that builds things that make people's lives better. I hope that each of you leaves here today with something to make your, you a better business person, something to make you a better leader, something to make you truly the author of your own story, something to make you the architect of your own destiny. It is our privilege to partner here with UN Women, and we look forward to seeing what the future brings. Thanks so much. <laughs>